hopeful explosion at the summit of Kilauea, shooting a plume of ash some 30,000 feet into the air, showering ash for miles around. The order going out tonight to shelter in place, and ABC's chief national correspondent, Matt Guppman, is there again tonight. Tonight, that tower of ash punching from the clouds. Before dawn, this Gemini Observatory time-lapse captured that new explosive eruption at Kilauea's Halemaumau. The one this morning was definitely the biggest we've seen so far, just in terms of energy and, and how high up into the atmosphere it got. Even higher than Mount Everest, ballistic rocks up to two feet wide already heaped hundreds of yards. Residents not evacuated warned to shelter in place. And those 20 fishers scarred Hawaii's landscape, roaring with increased intensity. You can see all that lava fountaining here. Now this is uh, Fisher 17. Some of the fountaining has gone hundreds of feet in the air. What you're seeing over there, and those roars are steam and gas flying out of these vents. That stuff is 2,000 degrees. This is what the community of Leilani Estates looked like last May. And now, those fishers delivering a cloud of sulfur dioxide so toxic, the National Guard had to pull back from several checkpoints and already evacuated residents like Kane and Myers, who's eight months pregnant, forced to flee again. I don't think it's safe for me and my, my kid to breathe in these conditions. Matt Guppin back with us live tonight. And Matt, I know you were at a checkpoint that the National Guard actually had to abandon for a time today because of those gases. That's right, that sulfur dioxide cloud here was so thick, it literally drove those guardsmen away. They came back after about 30 minutes, but it explains why this respirators like this are the most scarce resource on this entire island, especially with scientists warning of another major eruption at any time. David. All right, you and the team will be watching. Matt Gutman, our thanks to you again tonight. And from the White House. To